Why is it always so foggy in Daly City? Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of Filipinos cooking rice. Good morning, everyone. I woke up early today so I can show you some Daly City fog. It's about 8 a.m. right now, and I'm leaving my house in San Francisco. We're just gonna hop on 280. Daly City is about two or three miles from here. We're going to some of my favorite places to hang out in Daly City, but first I'm gonna take you through some of the foggiest places that I know. As you can see, the closer we get to Daly City, the foggier it is. We are now in Daly City. It is very foggy. You can barely see the signs. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing or if you're filming a video while driving. And that is why they have these little speed bumps here. Now that you've seen the fog, I'm gonna take you to our first stop, Century 20. This is a very popular theater, relatively new. Even a lot of people from San Francisco come here because there's free parking. There are a lot of scary movies out because of Halloween and also the Michael Jackson movie. It is also very convenient because the BART station is right around the corner. We're going to head to the top of the hill now and there's a popular pool hall there and also a plaza. Here's some Daily City 5-0 and I'm glad I'm not that guy. We're here at Mission Plaza. I'm pretty hungry now, so we're gonna grab some breakfast at the foggiest Jollibee in the world. There are free newspapers inside, and there are a lot of people here eating and reading. Here is a corned beef sandwich and lumpia. There is also a Red Ribbon Bakery in this plaza a few stores down. Here are some of the pastries inside Red Ribbon Bakery. I had the mango bar. It's like a bread with bits of dried mango. It's pretty good. Now that I'm full, we're gonna go back down the hill to Walgreens at West Lake. Why are we going to Walgreens, you might ask? Well, rumor has it that this Walgreens is open 24 hours a day and sells Filipino products. Here are some mango juice and pineapple juice. And over here in the freezer, look what we have. Lumpia wrapper. 24 hours a day, anytime you want. If you need lumpia wrapper at 3 a.m. in the morning, this is the place to get it. Only in Daily City. If Walgreens doesn't have what you need, you have to head over to Manila Market. Don't get lost in the fog though, even I almost did. Fresh produce. We got fish balls. Squid. Mmm, tasty. Alright, it's time to get out of here. Let's go to a park. This is Gellert Park. It's very interesting because there's something for every generation here. You have a playground for little kids, a soccer field usually used by bigger kids. You got a basketball courts used by mostly younger men and tennis courts used by a lot of older men. There's a library and it's used by a lot of seniors. And they're all being used right now and it's all in one place. Oh, and they can also all come here to barbecue. Across the parking lot is Daily City Library. There is already some people waiting to get in. It opens at 10 o'clock. Right under New York Times, we have Philippine News. 
There is also an entire wall of Filipino related books. It's about time for lunch and I'm gonna try some barbecue. Okay. We got barbecue chicken and barbecue pork skewers. The chicken was especially good. 